Not sure what's burning, but it is some kind of a commercial structure, one to two stories maybe, been working for a couple of minutes. It is putting out a ton of smoke. LA City Fire on the scene. You're going to see this smoke on the 10 freeway case. In fact, it's wafting over the freeway, so that may cause a little bit of slowing. We're going to get a little closer to you on this, and but boy, look at all that back, black smoke. This is going to be working here for a while. All right, we're going to San Pedro, Ginger. I'm sorry to interrupt you. We are going to continue to follow that. And like you said, of course, a lot of people can see it just off the freeway, off the 10 freeway. Right. San Pedro is obviously one of those bigger streets, and even six can be heavily traveled as well. Uh, you can see now all, all that black smoke that Mike is talking about. The other thing is, I think it may have started as something outside. That's the initial report anyway. Then I overheard Mike and Rich discussing that maybe some type of penthouse or something like that. Anyway, a fluid situation, and you can see all the ladders that are extended. So this looks to be perhaps maybe a defensive mode type of uh, situation. That's what we oftentimes see in this type of situation. So we're going to continue to follow this because one thing we know, anytime we have a structure fire like this and the winds are starting to die down, that's the good news. And now we're starting to see some of those flames. Mike and Rich could see this as far as Wilmington. That's where they are originally. So it does not look like some type of penthouse. You see it. ABC Toys is the building that is now on fire. You know, anybody who travels here at this hour, this is a busy part of town because a lot of people get to work a little bit early, even on a day like today, as we are getting closer and closer to a long holiday weekend. I do want to bring Mike back into the mix here. Mike Case in Sky 5 HD. You guys are first on the scene. And as I mentioned, you and Rich hearing this on the scanners, racing from Wilmington and heading over here. Mike. Ginger, what we didn't see was all the... Uh flames coming up through uh, the rooftop here. Man, what a hot fire this is. ABC Toys. Sixth and San Pedro, you mentioned folks getting off the 10 freeway coming into downtown are going to have some problems. Boy, that looks like a blowtorch. We got lots of LA City fire surrounding this, putting out a ton of smoke. We haven't heard about injuries. Look at those guys on the roof. Boy, that's the hottest, most dangerous part of this fire right here. Again, ABC Toys, Sixth and San Pedro, right in downtown. You me see this smoke from everywhere and this has only been going on here for about 10 minutes so uh, I don't know how they're going to get this thing out very quickly because there's lots of smoke lots of flames and again <clears throat> we haven't heard about any preliminary searches so we don't know if anyone was in the building uh, but it looks like just a two-story commercial structure right here six in San Pedro we're going to stay on top of this as long as you as long as we can fuel remaining but uh, downtown on the east side, and it is burning like crazy. Mike, it's, uh, it's Frank Buckley here. As we push in there, those firefighters are, are on the roof right next to the, to the holes there where the, the fire is coming out. Are they in the process of venting, or are they trying to get water down into that? Or uh, what is the process there? What, what exactly are they doing on the roof? Uh, I, whatever it is, they don't pay you enough, that's for sure. And I believe that is a vent operation that they're doing. Of course, they use those pike poles to uh, test the structural uh, capability of the roof, whether it's soft or not. But venting, I think, is the, is the main focus right now to get some of this heat uh, out of the uh, second story, if that's where it started. But uh, ah, about a half a dozen or so firefighters up there, I don't see how they speak. Of course, they've got those 70 minute uh, tanks on mm. but uh, wow you know they can't even see anything I'm sure it's just choking smoke and very hot yeah and then you think about the integrity of the roof and how long you know they they know obviously they're experts but you have to think about the fact that when you see that like Mike described it as a blowtorch of flame coming out of the rooftop there and how long firefighters have to be up there before things just become too unsafe for them uh, the smoke is thick and heavy uh, I would imagine disorienting if you're up there not knowing what's what because that smoke would be really difficult to see through that. You can see, uh, like you mentioned, San Pedro and 6th Street, Ginger said, a, a pretty busy thoroughfare. People are out and about uh, looking around. You can see all the, the, the ladder trucks out there. Looks Five like commercial building or, excuse desk. me, apartment buildings possibly across the street looking onto this uh, commercial structure. Yeah, and I would imagine at some point to your uh, your point there, Jessica, about the structural integrity, they'll have to evacuate from from the roof uh, for fear of collapse. That that the, the the flames that are coming through there, and the fact that you have uh, a fire burning uh, with this intensity, um, certainly, uh, as Mike said, uh, these folks uh, are not getting paid enough. Uh, whatever it is that they're getting paid, 
to stand on that roof that close to those flames that are uh, are are firing through the roof. Uh, if you're just joining us right now, this is downtown Los Angeles, Sixth uh, and San Pedro. This is an area that's that's uh, uh, where where you ha have uh, warehouses. Uh, in this case, it's called the ABC Toys, is what the the sign on the the side of the building says. Uh, there are uh, folks who live on the street in this uh, neighborhood. Um, so uh, we're obviously going to continue to watch this throughout the morning. Uh, Ginger's going to be all over it uh, with your traffic detours. Uh, but it is a, a story we'll be watching throughout the morning.